Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. Threat trackers in the yellow for today, not only for a heat advisory, but we also could see some strong storms possible. Chance of storms continues through tomorrow and Thursday. Deal with another bout of heat and humidity as we approach midweek, but at least temperatures start to fall just a little bit as we approach Thursday. Heat advisory in effect from noon until 8 o'clock today for our far southern counties. We could see a heat index of about 105 degrees. Now, just because you're not in the heat advisory doesn't mean you're going to experience the high heat or the pretty high dew points as well. Dew points expected to be in the mid 70s area wide. We've seen that since early this morning. They'll come down a few degrees, although it still will feel quite humid as we approach Thursday into Friday. We've got temperatures in the 90s in the forecast, dew points in the mid 70s. That means that heat index for Waterloo could be around 106 degrees. Still near 100 by Wednesday, tapers back just a little bit Thursday into Friday, but we really won't find much relief until Sunday night when a cold front finally comes through. If you're going to be out and about today, of course, drink plenty of fluids, wear loose fitted clothing. Sunscreen is always great to have on hand. And most importantly, do not leave kids or pets in hot cars even if it's just for a couple of minutes. Now on to the severe threat. The Storm Prediction Center has our northern counties under a slight risk for severe storms. That's a level two out of five, meaning any storms that pass through that area and become strong to severe could produce large hail and damaging wind gusts as well as some heavy downpours. We are tracking this line of storms that are pushing through Minnesota. If they continue to backfill and push through our area, that's when we'll likely see some storms. This is future track, 1 o'clock, no storms in our area yet as of noon. Storms will continue to kind of backfill, head south, and finally make it to our area. I'd say any time be, uh, between this afternoon and early evening hours, we'll see them brush through our northern counties. I'm not expecting them to completely make it southward. However, we can't rule that out either. Again, these storms could be strong to severe, producing large hail and damaging wind gusts. Storms continue and finally move out of the way late into the overnight hours. We do get a break, but we could see some more storms for your Wednesday morning commute as well. Today's highs for most low to mid 90s. It's hot and humid while the southeast breeze at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight we're dropping down to low to mid 70s, so still going to be quite mild and muggy, just like what we saw this morning. Again, storms will be possible through the evening and into the overnight. City by city forecast shows low 90s for some by Wednesday. We're in the mid to upper 80s by Thursday. Rain continues as we look all the way towards Sunday with a dry next work week.